there are more than 3 million people in the U.S. living with epilepsy, and 35% of these patients are actually not responding to medications. Their quality of life is affected, they have side effects from medications, and they are at risk of injury anytime they have a seizure and even dying. I was diagnosed in 2001. The doctors feel, though, that I've most likely had epilepsy through at least adolescence, if not sooner. I haven't been able to drive for 13 years, which has been hard. But also, when my friends, my coworkers, started noticing things, I had to stop work. Till a few years ago, seizures used to be treated with uh, either chemicals uh, or surgery or, or diet or uh, uh, electrical devices that were implanted in the shoulders and then sending electrical impulses to the nerves in the neck. But RNS is implanted in the skull and it detects the onset of a seizure directly from the brain and then sends in a tiny electrical impulse to stop the seizure just at the beginning. This is an implanted brain simulation device that was approved by the FDA about one year ago and we've uh, successfully implanted um, patients now here over the last several months. We can teach this little device how to properly detect the seizure signature. It feels when a seizure is coming on and then the device will zap it. The surgery to implant the RNS system is fairly straightforward because we already have all the information we need. And so this is standard stereotactic procedure. This is the recording and stimulating electrode. It has four contacts. It's going to rest on the brain surface. This is the small computer. That's the neurostimulator. It fits in your hand. You can see on this x-ray of the skull the battery implanted right here, the little device. And there are two deep electrodes, one that is going on the left side and one that's going into the right side, targeting uh, the areas that started the seizures. Every single day, what she does, she will use the wand and download the data from the device into the computer. Approximately once a week, she will hook up the computer to the internet and all this data will be transferred into what we call the patient management uh, database. The device does not work right away. There is a lot of work involved from the physician to teach the little device how to deliver and what to deliver stimulation on. So far we implanted four patients with the RNS device. We were not expecting improvements so fast, but our first patient, Georgette, that was uh, implanted in January, has already uh, seen a significant decrease in her seizures. You can see the seizure starts to spread in the left-sided channels, and the seizure will be ongoing and not stopping though we are done with 90 seconds of what we were able to store in our device. We adjusted the parameters and reprogrammed the device to deliver the stimulation much faster and to be able to detect much better the seizure signature. And you can see the seizure building up on the left-sided channels, left side of the brain, and we were able to stop the seizure very early I think even a small decrease in seizures would, would improve the quality of life a lot. The doctor said I may be able to work again, which will be a good thing, because <laughs> I miss working. I miss my coworkers, you know, I miss interacting with people. So that would be a real plus.